All right, brothers and sisters, this is another week. This is Keith, Streams of Light Ministries, and I have here Brayden, my son, and um, actually, the video, you can't, they can't see you, <laughs> but um, this is recording the screen at this point, but you can say hi. Hi. All right, very good. So, sometimes you can, you know, include your children in a devotion. And um, this week we're going to do a little different um, with the memorization. Um, this is my weekly memorization, and also uh, my children do this uh, sometimes um, at our house, and so they do pretty good. Braden does pretty good, gets almost 100% every time. So, you know, and all the reason why is because we're rotating the, the verses. Um, you know, every week. So there's some verses that he might not be familiar with. So I'm not expecting him to get 100% every time. But this time we're going to do the test. We're going to do the test for uh, time uh, purposes and also, um, you know, to make it last time 79. That must have been um, Bryce. It must have been Bryce that got 79 last time. So that's all right, you know, building them up, building them up the, in the Word of God. And as you can see, man, that's awesome to know all these verses. It's like 29 verses in this. And so we're going to start the lesson. And let's see, Brayden, uh, what does that say? I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Mm, which one do you think that is? Exodus 22. Wow, right off the bat, go ahead and there you go, nicely done. All right, but one and the same Spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as he wills. I think that is 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 11, and I am correct. Very good. Go ahead, Braden. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is, is truly plentiful. But the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Hmm. Which one do you think that is? Matthew 9, 37 and 38. Wow, there you go. All right, confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. I think that is James chapter 5 and verse 16. There you go. And so definitely we need to pray. We need to uh, 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 be righteous. We need to live a righteous life. If we fall, we need to hurry up and go back to the Lord. We don't need to just be sitting in our sin thinking, oh, well, the Lord is going to give me grace. And he will. But the thing is, is that uh, we, we don't understand we don't know tomorrow is not promised and so therefore we need to run back when we make a mistake we need to run back to the Lord and then uh, you know God tells us that the prayers of a righteous man availeth much and so we know that he is faithful and just to forgive us for all our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness that means if we're cleansed from all unrighteousness that means we're righteous at that very time all right I think it's your turn Braden but be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Hmm, which one do you think that is? John, no, James 1.22. Boom, come on now, can I get a pound? Boom, you don't see our pound, but we just pound right now. All right, it says, And some of them of understanding shall fall, to try them, and to purge them, and to make them white, even to the time of the end. This is where we are, the time of the end, because it is yet for an appointed time. All right, so that's Daniel chapter 11, verse 35. All right, go ahead, Brendan. But without faith is it impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a, a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Mm. You know, I, I mean, how, how many people will want to do something for somebody who doesn't have faith in them? You know, well, God, he does move and he does uh, do things to cause us to have faith. 
to give us the measure of faith. And then he he's he's after a while he wants us to have faith in him. He doesn't want us to to always be saying, "Oh well, I need, you need to prove yourself. You need to prove yourself. You need to prove yourself." How many times does God have to prove Himself in order for us to just have faith in Him? All right. So, which one do you think that is? That is Hebrews eleven and six. That's right. All right. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard, and that's Acts chapter four and verse twenty. All right. Go ahead. And consider the lo- that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, as our beloved brother Paul, <coughs> according to the wisdom given to him, has written to you, as also in all his apostles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to understand which untaught and unstable people twist their own destruction as they do also the rest of the, stri- of the scriptures. 2 Peter 3, 15 and 16. Sweet. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. That is... Matthew chapter 4 and verse 29. That's what we're doing. We're fishing for men. And you have to understand, they didn't fish with a hook. See, people fish with a hook today. But back then, they fish with a net. Okay? And they would... And and we fish with a net today too, but most people fish with a hook. But back then, most of people fish with a net and they would throw the net out and they would bring in the, the fish would get caught into the net and they would bring it into the boat so uh god has not tried to hook us by his gospel but he wants to support us as a net like you're walking on a tightrope and you're walking on a tightrope and and you're trying to balance your life on the tightrope. And he says, guess what? If you fall, I have this net. That net is called grace. That net is called grace. And so, therefore, um, he's going to make us fishers of men. He wants to uh, us to uh, um, instill grace to other people. Um, even though when they fall, they make a mistake, we, want, we need to forgive them. And, and to help them up and, and, and to help them balance um, their life. Okay, um, let me just read this one. Let not the, this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, did not cause, consider it to robbery, excuse me, to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bond servant and coming in the likeness of men. Which one do you think that is? Brayden's taking a little yawn right now. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you think, Mr. Brayden? 1 Thessalonians 2.13. Mm, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. That's okay. See, this is a learning experience here. Okay, so we see that it is Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 through 7. Okay. Um, so... Next time we'll know, right? All right, very good. So we're going to go forward. And he said unto me, unto 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. What do you think that is, Brayden? Daniel 8, 8:14. Go ahead and push it. Yes, sir. All right. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and spirit and joints and marrow and the discerning of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hebrews 4.12 And that is correct. And it's awesome because we can play this with our children. We can use this as a devotion. You can use this as a uh, a tool to help them memorize scripture. And as they, when they get older, this, all this scripture is going to be in their mind. This is, I mean, they're going to be just, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, fortified with so much scripture. So God wants to uh, bless the little children 
um, to learn this stuff because the faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And as we hear the word of God, we know the word of God, we can have faith in the word of God and we can defeat the fiery darts of the devil. So be, uh, behold, God exalts by his power. Who teaches like him? Well, no one teaches like him and his power is in his word. Job chapter 36 and verse 22. These things have I written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God that ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. Do you know what that is? Mr. Braden? His brain is trying to get oxygen. Okay, go ahead. 1 John 5.13. There you go. And you did it. Yay. Okay. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They spake the word of God with boldness. And that is Acts chapter 4 and verse 31. All right. And they saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, having an everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. Do you know what that is before I even finish, Brayden? Yeah. What is it? Revelation uh, uh-huh. 14. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. There you go. Uh-huh. All right. Go ahead. Read that one. Heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows His handiwork. Psalms 19.1 There you go. You see how he memorized these scriptures? I'm not telling him what they are. He knows this by heart. I, I, I mean, you know, he might not know it verbatim, but he knows where the address is, which is awesome. So, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved. And to come to the knowledge of the truth. Will we have all men to be saved? Do we want in do we want this mind of Christ so that we want all men to be saved? If we want all men to be saved, we will go out and spread this gospel like no other message. Because we want all men to be saved. Alright, so um, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear that is first peter chapter 3 and verse 15 all right go ahead and read that Brandon. your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path psalms 119 105 boom there you go oh lord hear oh lord forgive oh lord listen to act do not delay your for your sake my god for your city and your people are called by your name. Yes, and that is Daniel chapter 9 and verse 19. The prayer, the famous prayer of Daniel. All right. Take this book of the law and put it beside the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God that it may be as a witness against you. All right. We already went through that in the last uh, lessons there. Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 26. Let's see. You know what? I forgot about that the um, thing can read if you just touch the screen. I forgot about that. So let's let this computer read just for those who have not seen this. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Okay, so this is kind of lazy. (laughs) <laughs> you know, to have the computer read it for you. But, I mean, if you're not a good reader, which I'm not a very, very, very good reader, um, I'm, you know, I'm getting better, but praise the Lord, I used to be worse. And so I'm getting better. But as a, uh, if you're trying to uh, understand how to pronounce certain words, this is awesome. This is really awesome because it will pronounce certain words and you'll be like, Oh, that's how you say that word. Okay, got you. All right, so that's this is that's a very uh, good way of uh, you know learning the English language better. Um, we have all these tools, and, and and I think right now at this point 
we have no reason not to know God's word, to know masses, <clears throat> masses amount of God's word. So, um, Brayden, do you do you know what you do you think you know what that is? John one one through four. There you go. All right. So let's do that computer again. For this reason, we also thank God without ceasing, because when you received the word of God which you heard from us, you welcomed it not as the word of men, but as it is in truth, the word of God, which also effectively works in you who believe. Hmm. Okay. So I believe that's First Thessalonians chapter two and verse thirteen. Yes. All right. So henceforth, we only miss one. All right, we only missed one. We're going to let Brayden do this one. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament, and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Hmm. Daniel 12, 3. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's it. Very good. We want to be like the stars. Right, right. Okay, Brayden, you want to touch the screen and make the, the man read the word? So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Oh yes, I love that that, that chapter. That's a, a awesome chapter. Too. Isaiah fifty five eleven. Exactly, Isaiah fifty five eleven. All right, so let's do this but one. We believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ we shall be saved, even as they. Acts fifteen eleven. All right, go ahead and push it. Sweet. We're almost at the end. You can see the bar at the top tells you that you're almost at the end. And so um, let's go ahead and just close out with it. And said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And that would be Matthew chapter 14. Four. No, four, four. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, he corrected me. <laughs> Very good, you know, you know. All right, I was just testing you. I was just testing you, okay? <laughs> I, I wasn't trying to, yeah, I was just testing you. I wasn't wrong. So the only one we got wrong is we can go to scroll through the bottom here. And I don't know if I showed you this before, but then there, there it is. You, you, can, um, uh, you can star it and you can go to where it says retake star. Okay, and you can go through and see what you got wrong, and it is red, you know, it makes it very obvious uh, which one you got incorrect, and you can read it. Let me see if it'll read it for you. Nope, it won't read it for you. Okay, but you see it has a check mark next to the right answer, X by the, um, the wrong answer, the one we picked, and um, it turns red. And so, all the ones that you want to study, that you think you might want to be uh, more learn more you could put a star there and then you can go back and, and, and retake the start all the ones that we just start that's what it's going to help us retake and that just strengthens us in the things that we might be weak in okay that we might not know uh, as well as we know the other verses and so this is an awesome tool. I, every day as I keep doing it, I keep seeing that it's um, uh, it's very, very helpful in the things that I need to learn. So um, by the grace of God, brothers and sisters, that we will um, hear from you all um, as we share this, these messages. Uh, like I said, we're going to have a game and we might even um, have uh, special uh, gift cards for the uh, ABC store and that you can uh, purchase things um, from the ABC store from the game and so that's coming soon that is coming soon all right so we're we're going to go ahead and sign off say uh, bye uh, Braden bye all right so <coughs> we are signing off right now God bless.